when you make an oscillator with a transformer, it is in fact very easy to get the whole thing into oscillation. Here we have the transistor. And the reason is that um, on the secondary winding the signal is out of phase, has an opposite phase compared to the primary. So when you connect here the circuit to the plus and this via a resistor or so to the ground, the minus, and send the signal back via a small capacitor and set the transistor to a proper working point with a potentiometer, the whole thing will often oscillate. In almost 80% of the um, circuits this thing will immediately start to oscillate. Frequency depends on the transformer and the cap and the working point. But when you have um, only a coil from a high inductance, say for instance such a coil or such a coil, a coil from a motor or this coil from a washing machine or this coil also from a motor, there is a bigger problem because there is no back coupling coil here. So I had to find out an oscillator that worked with these types of coils. So an audio oscillator for high inductance coils. That was not very easy. I did a lot of experiments and finally this was a successful circuit. Here the transistor, emitter resistor, here the high inductance coil, decoupling unit, 470 microfarad, approximately 100k, 100 nanofarad here, and with both potentiometers you can set the high inductance coil to oscillate. I have to say that these coils are all usable, they generate a sound. This is one of the best results. This result was reached with this transformer, an old power transformer, uh, 200 ohms on the secondary, sorry on the primary, 1 ohm on the secondary. And um, not all these transformers give always a perfect waveform. But I can say that um, when you are lucky, find an, uh, the good high inductance coil, it's possible to get a good waveform, surely on one frequency. This is the circuit. Here the 1k potentiometer, here the other 1k potentiometer in the emitter lead. And um, there's also an extra, that's this part of the circuit. Here you can add 1k potentiometer with 100 and 100 nano cap and the frequency will go down. Also the frequency will go down when this capacitor is bigger. I have experimented with 4N7 and 50 nanofarad, so 4700 picofarad and 15000 picofarad. That were good values to get the whole thing into oscillation. The oscillator cannot be loaded uh, with a low impedance output, then it stops. But I found also that some coils I could tap out the wave here and then the wave was good and also very strong. So oh, it's an experimental circuit. Now I want to demonstrate a little bit the sound etc. I turn the potentiometer here. And this is quite a good sine wave. With that mains transformer reversed 
and I also found that when you connect the the other part from uh, the main transformer, so the one ohms part here, the the whole thing also oscillates, but on 70 kilohertz approximately. Okay, let's go to another coil. This is also a wall transformer, the, the black one here. And this is the waveform. I turn the potentiometer again. So, not a pure waveform. But I think useful. And when I turn the emitter potentiometer, we see this. You can set the purity from the waveform somewhat with the emitter potentiometer. So, a simple circuit with, in which you can use all kinds of high inductance coils. And uh, in many cases make a sine wave, in other cases not. And but almost always uh, you can use the circuit to get a sine wave on one fixed frequency. <laughs>